Hey you folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to another board game night. We're playing some Battlestar Galactica here with uh, Enter Elysium, Arumba, Knorr, and Briarstone. We're in the second phase, the sleeper phase. There are Cylons about. We're just trying to figure out who they are. I have some uh, pretty strong suspicions. As Very do strong. I. All right. We'll see, though. Um, so it is my turn. I've drawn my cards. There are there's a base star around, and that's it. No one else. Nope. Not Hang currently. On. Hang on. I, I did something stupid last turn. Let me back up real quick. You last go out, turn, Rick. we got the heavy raider spawn, right? Yeah. Yep. The heavy raider was not supposed to spawn on the Cylon fleet board. There's a base star. I forgot there was a base star in. It actually oh. launches from the base star. Oh, which no. Which means I rewind the Cylon pursuit track, and then I think I put this civilian ship there, so I'm going to reshuffle that one in. There we go. Okay, which definitely tells me what I have to do. Um, That's my space station sound. Okay, I like this. Good. I liked it. It's nice. So Thank step you. one is I'm going to move here. Step two, I'm going to activate my CAG ability to get this ship to come here. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to get Maximum just launch a new one. Okay. I like that better. And with the CAG ability, I get to take another action. So I will drop maximum firepower. So I get to roll four attacks. I'm going to start off by attacking the Heavy Raider. I need an eight to kill it, which ain't okay. easy. Hmm. We, you've done it before, probably. It gives me eight attacks. Now, it's not like rerolls or anything like that. It's eight attacks. I will go ahead and use a strategic planning on the first one. Cross our fingers. Those of you who are human. You I'm said wrong. you get eight, eight attacks or four attacks. Four. I think yeah. I need an eight. Mm -hmm. So the first one with the bonus misses. Oh come on! Are you? Si oh, oh, there we go. Because <laughs> if it activated again, it would instantly board us, which would have been awful. So that yeah. is gone. Uh, discard those, and then I get a crisis. Crisis. Boom. Weapon malfunction, pass, no effect, fail, damage to vipers in space areas. Okay, luckily I could pick two that are not me. That's All characters and weapons control go to sick bay, and it would launch raiders as well. Well, that's or, where Doc works. What? Oh, sick bay. Yeah, but it's not going to... Oh, there is someone in weapon control. I was thinking armory. My bad. <laughs> you are there. Now, Doc Coddle, what do I think you are? Okay, like that. So I think this might be a swell time for me to use my once per game. It may not be the worst thing there is, but it's a time. It's a relatively difficult check. Although, you know, we have a lot of cards. Um, yeah. Uh, but but we, I, this, this one is pretty bad. Not I... off. Damage two vipers oh. and send Doc to sick bay. Well, I mean, what are you sending me back to work? I like shooting guns. You do like shooting guns. You're that kind of doctor. <laughs> doctor I, who? I'm gonna go ahead and use my wonks per game. It's not okay. the most dangerous okay. thing, but it's a thing. So, and this way keeps some ships out, which I think are gonna be good. We are. Oh, actually, we're not that far from jumping. Oh shit. And actually, if we fail this, we're not gonna lose. No, you know what? I won't use my once per game. We're going to initiate the skill check and see what happens. All right. All right. So I'm going to add two cards in the deck of destiny. If anyone's got any pre skill check cards to play, go for it. Um, no, but I do have quite a lot of uh, piloting because I've been saving them up. So I'm OK with this. All right. So we will. Uh... Guys, Baltar, you're first up. I can do nothing to help. So I pass. The only cards I could use are engineering, and I have none. Okay. Okay, I will. I will play the one tactic card I have. Okay. Doc Coddle. Um. I will play one card. Okay. Elo? I think I'm going to play a couple, so 
I'm going to play this, so move to skill check. And it's also purple. Mm. There we go. I've added two cards. Because I'm a good admiral. All right. I will add a handful of cards, actually. Ooh. Oh. Although, to be fair, all your colors are on that card, so. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'll add one. Two. Three, four. Wow. How many cards do you have? How badly do you want this to pass? Well, for a few reasons, relatively well. I'm, I'm going to add that many cards. How many treachery cards do you have? Yeah. <laughs> None <laughs> anymore. <laughs> two? One? Two? Yeah. Two? One? One. Uh, all right, we're going to start flipping these over. So, we've got four to the good. I guess I put those over here. We've got quick training, which we'll fire after. Uh, two to the bad, so that's plus two. Plus three. Zero. Uh, plus five. Right? Getting these yeah. colors right? Yeah. Plus six. Uh, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And install upgrades. So as is... Oh, the difficulty is 11, so it's not going to pass. What? what? Wait, wait, wait. Will... Yeah. Arr. We get a declare emergency, so it lowers the difficulty by two. So now we pass. Difficulty nine, we got 10. We get uh, install upgrades triggers. If the skill check passes, the current player draws two engineering cards. That'll be me. Draw, draw. And the other thing, the quick thinking. Oh yeah, we didn't actually need the uh, declare emergency. Take it back. The quick oh. thinking. Oh, what? Okay. The current player may choose one card with a strength of three or less to remove from the check and add to the hand. So I'm going to take the declare emergency oh, that okay. was here and was against us. I'm going to take it into my hand, which now gives us a total of 13, which means we succeed. Nice. And I, I like got to draw three extra cards. That was sabotaged pretty heavily. It was it though? Well, it was just two no. cards. Oh, okay. Like that, that's might have been destiny deck i'm not unlikely saying it was. well two cards and it was more than 50 50 that each card yeah would be. no you're right it's probably it was probably sabotaged but it's weird for that to be sabotaged because it's not that yeah but you can sort of casually sabotage it i suppose yeah if we lose two more vipers we'd have lost um yeah we'd have we'd be down to half our new vipers so mm -hmm. all right so uh, we succeed, which doesn't really do anything for us, but three Vipers or three Raiders do get launched from the base star right here. And we discard that. And now Gaius Baltar gets to act. Draw your Yay. cards and, you know, declare yourself to be a Cylon. It's fine. It's okay. We accept your lifestyle. I would be determining what you are right now, but I can't. Mm hmm. Makes me very Can upset. Determined. It's very sad. Very sad. That sounded you like uh, Exobia. Yeah, okay. Love more raiders. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have done. Instead of launching another ship, I actually could have gotten a population ship off the board, which is what okay. I um, we're going to stay in our present location and play this card again. Influence. Draw two quorum cards. Oh, okay, and then you'll be forced to play or discard one of the two. Correct. Draw to hand, draw to hand. Hmm. It'd be nice if it didn't uh, didn't stack these cards right on top of each other, so I couldn't see. Yeah, them. it's happened to me before. Didn't like that. Yeah, selecting them can be a bit iffy. Four quorum cards. Oh, well, you had two before. Huh. It's strange seeing a politically competent guy. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So... Ooh, sounds like a Cylon. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just have to go with my gut on this. 
Here's the problem. So, We're going to have two Cylons in a row. Awful. Probably. <sighs> He's coming I out. Like, I feel like it's coming. What? Well, Quill, guys can't... you're under arrest. I was going to say, guys can't result, can't uh, reveal because he's used his action already, but he can do that kind of bullshit. Because he knows. It's clear. It's clear. Obviously, I'm not a Cylon, right? All you the know. shit I could have done to no. fuck everyone over. Although... It's obvious I'm not a Cylon, so it's obvious that Baltar is a Cylon because he knows I am not. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, he thinks you do protestive too much. No. It's really clear. <laughs> yeah. And uh, who's that saying about protesting too much? Oh, that's Hilo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh-uh. Like, that's so how, 100%. How have you been a, a Cylon in every single game you've played of this or something? No, no, no. Uh, I, there's two previous videos, and the first one I wasn't, and the second one I was. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, I know what my three Cylon card things are, and I'm not uh -huh. a Cylon, and I know the odds are against you, and you blocked me from using my miracle ability. No, I didn't! Turn. Yes, you did. You made that you thing fail. You put cards... You made Every it fail. I know you did. You are this a Cylon. This is such a ch cheap fucking transparent <laughs> effort to do this. Because it's like, this is so bullshit. Because it's obvious I'm not. And you're trying so hard. I hope everyone realizes that our president is a Cylon. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going to... You need to fix the brig location. Yeah, that's true, actually. We should have But I'm still that split. Up. The brig's not broken. Well, the Admiral's no, quarters is... Send Sending people to the brig right. is unless the precedent just puts them there. All right, yeah, go I, ahead and flip up your crisis. But so I'm, I'm just, just for the sake of my viewers, I'm looking at my cards right now and looking at all three. You are not a Cylon cards. <laughs> God. Um, I. Right. Um, so the section is such like liar, liar, pants on fire. So, so the argument for Quill being Elysium a Cylon is, is that he did use his one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, like, do, Boomer do you remember? Is, or, uh, he, Roomba <laughs> is playing. If he is being serious about this, he is going on some sort of like statistical based thing that it's vaguely more likely that Boomer is a Cylon based on having more loyalty cards, which is true. But it's discounting all of my actual actions, which clearly point to the fact that I'm not a Cylon Be because there's because no I way. Because I don't trust you. <laughs> I just don't trust you in this game. You're the expert, you're the person who's the most likely to be deceptive. So here's the thing. You're Aruma, the host. Aruma is either making a terrible strategic error, which does not sound like Aruma. No. But it's possible. He is a new to this. Enter it's Elysium. possible, but seems unlikely. It seems far more likely that he's actually a Cylon. Anyway, let's do, do the you remember? Do you remember the last time we played a game and I told you I was being honest? Was I honest <laughs> or not? Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, you were. Uh... I'm being what? honest. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's all. Take it for what it is. But I could either be doing, I could be doing multiple honest, game. You didn't need to be deceptive. I could either be doing multiple game long, like slow form deception, or mm -hmm. I could just be being honest. Well, then you're making a mistake, and you've <laughs> misplayed horribly. Hey, Arumba, I've seen your EU4 videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you can deceive. All right, let's do the food shortage. <laughs> President, choose something. Okay, um, that's that'd be me again. So minus one food, and I discard even more damn cards. And the current player discards three cards. I am the current player. So either I lose five cards. Which you would accept if you're a human. <laughs> it's not, it's, that's his logical fallacy right there. It doesn't mean that just because. It <laughs> if yeah, you because actually you are human, the then the it thing. would be not necessarily great for you to lose your entire hand. That's true. Yeah, I have, I have six cards. So I'm I not saying lose. anything to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with card loss. All right, it's, bullsh it's bullshit, but well, you've got and... no choice because I can actually force you using uh, moral compass. Did you? Uh, by the way, did you remember to draw your extra skill card? I did. Yes. Okay. Oh, so you did I see. Okay, there's discard number one, discard number two, and three more. Did you drop a treachery card? Yes. Kind of convenient or interesting, isn't it? Ooh. It's almost like <laughs> I'm being honest. God, what does it take to convince you people? Uh, your silent okay. card. <laughs> okay. That is the end of my turn, and we've resolved the crisis. Well, we have to do the heavy advance. Is it possible that someone's been doing like an extremely long con game and was like and now has the two Cylon beginning. cards? 
Ugh, anyway. Uh, advanced Raiders. So they're going to shoot at the unmanned uh, Vipers. So did you reduce need... the food? Or no? Uh, oh, I did reduce not. Reduce food by no. one. Yeah. Okay. So shot number one. Three is miss. Five is damaged. We have one damaged. And a five is another damaged. Oh, wait. Sorry. These are super ones. They're only yep. damaged on a six or higher. So Ooh, hold on. Nothing. So yeah, they, they just dodge. Handle all that shit. Uh, and then we advance our jump prep. I would be very tempted to say that we should jump on the next turn. Let's so see. What, what do we lose discarded. if we jump? There's one a 25% chance. chance that we'll lose one unit of population. But we're doing fine However, on them. We get we tons are actually, of population. We are actually in a pretty good place to fight them. Well, yes, but we have tons of population. I think it would actually be better to jump and get more yeah. distance faster. I'm but, you know, that's just my opinion as a human. <laughs> and we have, to, we have to get up to eight, right? And uh, then we jump, do. or is it and set? Yeah, okay. Eight and then jump one more time. So uh, it's Tom probably po probably two or three jumps then. Well, are there any four cards? Probably three jumps away. Yeah, there's no four. So it's yeah. hopefully two jumps to get to eight plus mm, and yeah. then an additional jump to win. Unless okay, the Admiral so... is a Cylon, in which case he's going to choose only ones and will never get there. Okay, so yeah. it's uh, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Tom Zarek, draw your cards. I may need your help to break out of prison again. Yeah. Well, I was uh, going to I... go jump. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that's better. Jumping is better. I just want to have a quick look to see what I got. Is it the bigger distance uh, destinations generally have more penalties in the way of food, fuel, and morale? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so... I mean, there's a there's a ratio to fuel and distance. And then if you don't lose as much fuel, usually there's something else that you lose. Mm. Wait, why are we so uh, eager to jump at one minus one? We're, we're currently uh, okay. I think I forgot to use my... Uh, my, I just like turn ability on my last turn. Oh well. Well, yeah. I, I guess. I guess we don't have to jump, but I like the fact that we have a lot of population. I feel like we we don't lose a lot by jumping, and jumping yeah. is always good. Yeah, so. I agree. And it's not like the pursuit track is about to click over, so there's no well, reason to save that, it. I need to discard a card, right? Uh, to... If you still have a card at the end of your turn, then yeah. No, I'm saying if I want to move. If, you, if you're moving to oh. Galactica, yeah. Yes, you do. Okay, so and there's no one in FTL control, so I am gonna oh, discard that. That's right, because you can't do actions if someone else is there. Yep. And then I'm gonna go to FTL control and just tell people to uh, punch, punch the big button. Jump now. All right, roll. So on a seven or eight, we don't lose anyone. Yay! Nice. Flawless jump. So that gets moved there. We go reserves, reserves there. I've drawn two destinations. Uh huh. And neither of them are particularly far or good. I'm sure you would say that. Because even if one of them was good, you're not going to say that because you're a goddamn Cylon. So you're saying, <laughs> but I cannot Admiral, fault your wait. logic except for the last statement. I will uh, definitely um, disagree with the last statement vehemently. Mm -hmm. So, Quill, are you saying that our Admiral and our pre uh, President are both <laughs> Cylons? It's, I'm kind it, of thinking that way. It, it's there's a good chance, but I don't know. Like the problem is, Hilo hasn't done anything that Cylon. Yeah, you're kind yet. of accusing me based on nothing, and I've been yep. a pretty stand-up player throughout the rest of the game. Well, the first half, obviously. Totally but fine. in previous so in previous games, even in the second half, it's been okay. But the problem is, it's it's a weight thing. If you are a Cylon, we're completely humped. I mean, and I, I, in previous games, you were not trustworthy. That's true. <laughs> well, with, with uh, that in mind, I will do what it takes going? to win. Okay. Um, what's the destination? Hmm. It's better than the alternative. Barren so planet. Two to two. Ooh, no, that, that's, that, that's wow. fine. That's doable. So we've moved a total of six now. Uh, decrease fuel, decrease fuel. 
We are okay. getting dangerously low on those. Yeah, we need some more fuel. Uh, we should be okay. We've already had the uh, location that gives us more fuel. There are a couple of those, but they're also one distance. And if I pulled one yep. of them, you would complain. Probably. Here's the thing. If the Admiral is a Cylon, the way he can kill us now is if the next destination is the three fuel one, that will kill us because we'll end the turn with zero fuel. How many of them of, of them are they in the deck? I have no idea. Okay. All right. Uh, that uh, is... Right now, if I was to make some conjecture, I would say that uh, the, it's Gaius and, and, and Tom. That's the way I feel. And I, I, re, I feel that way because they have political cards. You can't trust anybody with political You have political cards! Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I am not to be trusted. Wait, right. wait. We need if a you crisis. took out Tom and Gaius, Doc becomes president. Oh, that's good. <laughs> right. Excellent. Let's brig Tom and Gaius. <laughs> uh, no, the president's title doesn't change with brigging. Oh, that's right. It's just the, uh, yeah, that's right. So this is Tom's crisis, scouting yep. for water, which on a fail could give us minus one fuel, which would be particularly bad I am HO. Yeah. So current player, I would. I, we don't need food that bad. No, no, we don't. Um, Although a minus one food does put it a little bit low, but it's not critically so. The problem is if we fail and we lose fuel, we are kind of we're kind of done. Yeah. So I, I might pick the minus one food. Do remember your once per game ability as well, Tom Zarek. Yep, I know. We got tons of population, so. Oh right, the f I keep I keep confusing the pop with food. Mm -hmm. uh, I think on your next action you'll probably want to do that. So you're a cannibal then. Uh, okay, so that well, okay, so regardless, we're we're gonna go down one on our on our two lowest uh, resources because I'm just gonna. Well, I'm it's it's purple and red mm -hmm. and. Well, I did uh, use a couple of reds in the last skill. Yeah, as you say, we've burned a lot of both of those yeah. recently. Okay, we I, are we're gonna lose one food. That's, yeah, uh, that's how that's gonna go. Because we had such a good beginning in the game, I think we can coast by without having to risk skill checks. I agree. I, I would agree. All right, Baltar is being too quiet. Ooh, yeah, I actually. I'm, I'm just, I'm just upset. No one trusts me. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. And I can't brig anyone because no one's fixed my admiral quarters. Mm-hmm. I'm sleeping oh, go, in go do something yourself for once. <laughs> but so I had to go, get I had the to go the, had to go from the president's office down to the fucking FTL controls just to get <laughs> the thing to jump. <laughs> well, you could have told someone else to. I wish I could. Orders, yeah. All right, increase pursuit track for real now. We go ahead and drop that in because I don't think there's any actual. Um, that oh, there like are raiders there. Hmm. Hmm. Got lots of population. It's fine. At least we can launch things right there. Uh, and then we advance our own jump track. Okay, discard that. Doc. All right, you know what the doctor's going to do? He's going to draw cards silent. first. Well, that's right. I'll draw cards first. Um. Oh, wait. I didn't put. I didn't mean to put that in the Destiny deck. You can hit the undo button, or just draw the top card. Yeah. And uh, oh, just where's the destiny day? Here, I'll get the undo. Oop. Okay, thank you. There you go. And I'll try again. What was I drawing? I was drawing um, tactics. tactics. Thank you. And then engineering too. Oh, I need another card. Engineering needs to be reshuffled. Oh, okay. Boom. Go. And there we go. So, now... <clears throat> I am going to... Stay where I'm at. There's nothing to shoot. But I like being there, because I like shooting things. <laughs> and I'm going to launch a scooter. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you... Oh, that's a tactics card. So, yeah, you can play that. Yep. Yeah. And I guess it says for three or above, I get to check the uh, top of the destination. Yep. Is that how it works? And I can put it on top or bottom? Yeah. Yep. Right. How far Let's... are we close to Kerbal now? Oh, come on. Uh, we're at six. So we got to get to eight and then jump. It's probably two jumps away. Oh, so that just eats one of our uh, raptors. <sighs> but we have lots. All right. Destroyed. 
I was gonna have an eyeball on uh, Hilo there for the next jump, but maybe not now. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, what's the difference between vipers and raptors? Raptors are basically just scouts; they don't fight. Yeah. Other than the, the heavy raptor. Okay. They're yeah, so basically you just use them for scouting, and they're yeah. expendable. Uh, oh, yeah, so they're basically a completely expendable resource, and if we get to zero, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Other than the fact we can't use them. Crisis okay. for Doc. Uh, what is this? No. Dishonest President. tactics. President chooses. Oh, that's good. You can take me out of the brig. Well, oh, if, if, if you're not a, if the president's a Cylon, this is, might be bad. I know. Does it say minus one morale? Like the card's kind of dirty. Yeah, minus one morale, and you may move one player from the brig to command, or minus one fuel and draw two quorum cards. Well, we need the fuel, so... Um... Morale, we have seven. Yeah. Option one. You stay in the break. Okay. I agree. <laughs> you agree that you stay in the break? <laughs> don't seem to have much choice. <laughs> well, I put, you, I put you there. Why would I take you out? <laughs> yeah. Because you see it, like how much I've repented and actually was innocent to start off with. You know, I, <laughs> I mean, I just can't. I can't wait for the big reveal when when everyone finds out you're the Cylon and I'm not. And everyone can cheer. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm starting to think that I'm a Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, find it very interesting because I, 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 just knowing how the game works, and I know Quill knows how the game works. Um, coming out. Um, blowing up two enemy ships at that particular moment, as opposed when he had the opportunity to reveal well, outside to, of the brig, he, he would he have had been some waiting for a bigger, a bigger event. I could have taken triple action. I could have done yeah. a lot. That would have been yeah. Because I got out, I had an exo left, and it was my turn after that. To to be fair to get a uh, uh, guys Bolter though. Some of the Cylon card reveal cards are very specific, and if Quill is a Cylon and has a specific uh, reveal card that doesn't do anything, it might actually be better for for the Cylon player to look very not Cylon y. It that could be, said, but the Cylon fleet adds the base star bridge location, which yeah. lets you do all kinds of awesome stuff. Yeah, There's so like, I, I think maybe Quill might not be. Asylum, but let's but. let's just let's just not forget that time where Quill spent tons of cards to make sure that my miracle ability was blocked. No, I spent turn, one card under the turn pressure. Before, from you. I wasn't going to spend any cards at all, and you were pre pressuring me to play something, so I did one. Mm -hmm. It's just so and convenient. The turn before I could verify whether you're silent or not, I can't do it anymore. It's weird. I could have not played any cards, and you would have not suspected me of spiking. You're fucking with me. God damn it. All right, Hilo, go. God There's merit to both arguments. I hate this game so much. And by hate, I mean love so much. All right, drawing to hand, drawing to hand, drawing to hand, and piloting. Okay. Okay, so what do we actually want to do now? Because there is very little going on, and I can't repair the Admiral's Quartz, which is something that we do need to do. Um, We could get out some ships to prepare to defend, and also maybe to clear out some civilians. Uh, You could XO me, and I could get out of jail. Since I'm not a goddamn Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That sounded a little bit pleading there, so I'm not, I'm not certain. I I've been brigged twice now. I don't like being here. We could... I don't know if you have another ability. Um, oh, yeah, I do, actually. I've got a couple of ability things. Um, but everyone's going to blame me if it's a... I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to launch a scout. And if this goes wrong, and we get a bad draw next time, I'm going to get doubly blamed. Yes. Probably. Don't oh, fuck well, this try. Uh, right, so I need to roll a dice. Uh, I can re-roll, so it's fine. A one. Five. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I can look at the. Is it? Look at the top. Yep. The top. And then place it on top or bottom. Cards. Destination. Draw to hand. Hmm. 
No, oh, you're going for the destination deck. Ooh. It stopped uh, doing stuff on mouse over, so I'm going to have to zoom in. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, some of the cards are very wordy. Uh, um... How much do we want to risk going into slight danger in exchange for massive distance? Massive distance doesn't help. We've already traveled six. Well, well we as, long, as long as it's two or more. Yeah. That's the only thing. We want to make sure we go two or more and not run out of fuel. Okay, so I'm going to discard this. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to discard it. Okay. Can so I can I can I tell you what it was? No. Uh, okay. It was very bad. Okay. Then I'm happy we didn't do that. Probably like the Cylon refinery or something. Something similar. Okay. So uh, you've done that. I guess you got to do your crisis. Yeah. So uh, draw my crisis card. Card. Crisis. Boy, I'd love to be able to repair the admiral's quarters. Since I'm the... Not. Well, no, I guess Gaius could do it as well. Why would you do that? Network computers. Oh, this thing. Uh, Failing on this is really bad. Passing's quite well, good. Yeah. Actually, uh, Admiral, why don't, mm -hmm. you, uh, why don't you choose to do the skill check? Oh, are you doing the thing? I could do the mysterious intuition and let us auto-pass it. I increase the jump preparation check by one. Mm -hmm. That or said, if there's a it. worse crisis card, like this is just jump preparation by one, and we've got population to burn, don't we? Yep, the ore would be we really bad. The ore is minus one population sure. and decrease the jump prep by one. Well, if we go but, for fail, then, though... Fail, the does... minus one population is fine, but the centurion's bad. Yep, yeah, we've got nothing else to do. We've got everyone is on the board, and there's nothing to fight, so we can just literally all snowball on top of them. I know I'm scared but... of centurions, but there's nothing else to... Like we actually, I, I played a, a launch scout last turn, which wasn't necessary. Right. Don't and okay, so you keep your ability. So you're going to choose the uh, the skill check? Yeah, choose to fail. You're going to sorry, you're going to what? I'm going to choose to play it and then fail because that way we get minus one population, which we've got plenty of. We can all kill the Cylons because there's lots of us. No, and the you Centaurians get to keep are better. All right, but you chose the skill check. I'm going to choose to pass it. I'm using okay. my mysterious intuition to force us to pass this check. Fine. That getting a centurion on board is a bad thing, Mr. Yes. Cylon. Yes. Yes. When really, we're all doing nothing else. Really is. Uh, so, I I'm conflicted. And Do jump prep is always people. good. We get two jump prep, don't we? Uh well we get one from succeeding. Yeah, and then yes. we get one from the card itself. Now so before that happens, go. we have to resolve the uh, Cylon bit, which is another raider activation. So what we do is we roll. Seven goes there. We advance the pursuit track. I have to deploy two civilian ships. Uh, and have no choice. I have to put them in the empty areas over here. And then we advance again, which brings us to the minus one slot. And then we trash this. Huh. And then it's my turn. Now, if I wasn't in jail, I would jump us right now. I don't, is it even worse me trying to break out? Well, well what what else are you gonna do? Oh, that's true. Because you I might can't as well do... just reveal. I... Hey, oh, if I was a Cylon, absolutely I would reveal. There's right way now, better screwed. stuff I could be doing as a Cylon than sitting here trying to break out of prison. <laughs> Here's the thing: it actually gets to the point where it feels very okay. It... Oh, li I can actually play actions from cards. Non guy or non Cylon Gaius. Um, we can help Quill get out of the brig right now and he can be useful at the very least having quill in there means no crisis card this turn that's true yeah, i was gonna say if i got a scout then i could do some good stuff but unfortunately is it Tom quill and carl you're not allowed to add more than one card to skill checks this turn yes. okay that's you're still able to full draw I'm, I'm able to full draw and i'm able to play actions assuming i have any that are worth playing um, but I don't fix so, the admiral's quarters. I can't because I'm not there. I have to be oh, yeah, in the admiral's yeah. quarters to do it. And you have too many cards. 
No, I have. If 12. I let you out, will you fix my pot plant? Oh shit! They're <laughs> hold on. They're stacking over one another. Hold on. Okay. You have twelve I have more skill than cards. I, I might. I might have something to do. I forgot that I like move things around and. And currently, player four has eleven skill items. Player five has twelve. Oh, I need so... to get rid of two. Actually, I need to discard because at the end of my go, I didn't discard two. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I had. Uh... All right, yeah, one, one second. Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't worry, I only have one skill item, and so I spend all of my time looking at how many skill cards you have because I never get to use any. <laughs> so I'll keep right, track of it try, for you. I'm going to try to break out. All right. I, may as I well. want to break free. So I'm going to initiate the skill check. I'm going to put uh, two cards to the skill check. I probably just shouldn't. I should probably just sit here on my ass, but that's okay. Um, and then it starts off with Baltar. And this is, uh, there is no color or, okay, so it's... Uh, yellow and purple. Politics and tactics are good. Everything else is bad. Oh, one second. Before we start playing cards, I need to read something really oh. fast. And you know what? I'm going to yeah. play, um... No, oh, actually, hang on. Oh, okay. It's you easy. know what? I may as well. I'm going to play scientific research to make uh, engineering cards be positive. Okay. I will pass. Help me break it. Okay, Tom's Eric. Uh, yeah, so it's it's too easier because I'm a nice guy. Uh, so I will. Um, I will. What will I do? What am, what am I gonna? I'll put. Uh, I'll put one of these. Hang on. It's okay. So it's those colors. I'll put. Uh, oh fuck, crap. I'll put that in, and I'll put that in. Are we confident you've got out yet, or do you need me to put card in? Uh, I, I don't think I'm out yet. Ha wait, have we put destiny in? Yep. Yep. Okay. And then I put so two you cards in. Don't think in. you're out yet. So you want me to put? You want me to help? Uh, I although Doc Cottle has to play first. Oh right, sorry. I'm in sorry. the. Uh, mm. Let's uh, let's do let's play. One. Okay. Um. Two. And this one's crap. Three. Okay. Elo. Do you want me to play? Uh. It might be fine at this point. Might be okay. I let slide. All right, and I will play one. Oops, I should. It's so yeah, hard I'll to play decide that one. who okay. the hell is a bad guy. <laughs> so that's negative two. That is engineering, which is good in this case. So plus one. That goes over there. Uh, plus that's six. Positive. A seven. Okay, that's neutral, but it does bad things. So I'm at plus eight. Uh, that's positive. So plus twelve. That's also positive. Plus sixteen. Okay, easily pass. Now, uh, install upgrades lets me cancel. Or oh, this is the draw two engineering skill cards. Don't mind if I do. And the Dreda's contact. Let's me place, or nothing. Let me allows me, or requires me to place two raiders in front of Galactica, which I think is probably someone actually getting rid of that card because it's not particularly bad. Could have been in the uh, deck. It could have been, you know, it, it's still not good, right? It's still mm. negative towards humans, but it's hard to tell. Anyway, I'm out, which is great. I will. Congratulations. Uh, I'll move to the Admiral's quarters. Thank you. So do we have to do a crisis now because you're out? Yeah. Yes. It's the yep. end of the turn. Also, don't you get uh, you get two engineering cards? I drew them already. Did that. Oh, you did. See, Sorry. you could have, if you were a human, stayed in the brig to avoid the crisis for us. That yes. Nice. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure I can do more out here. Hmm. To be fair, humans you want free. You want the Cylons to be brigged. All right, let me uh, let me crisis it up. 
riots again. So the Admiral chooses. Lose food and morale or lose population and fuel. What are you thinking? Mm. Because we're both free on fuel and food. I would prefer we have losing food than the fuel, population. but... Food and morale. That's Looks like the Raiders... Sketchy. Raiders are going to kill that civilian ship. Oh, that's true. And when a civilian ship dies, we lose a random resource? Is uh, that how it actually, works? it doesn't activate the Raiders. This only launches Raiders. Yeah. Oh, which is actually going to be a problem because it's actually going to summon a crap ton of people because there's only three Raiders left on the board. So it's going to trigger a small fleet. So wait, what do you want me to go for? Because we can afford the population. We can't as much afford morale, but then fuel and food are both fairly low. I personally would say food and morale. Uh, food and morale. I agree. Unconventional tactics, you know, if, if Tom is not a Cylon, would be helpful. Is that what you're choosing? <laughs> yeah, I'll go with food and morale. It is getting a little bit dire here. It is. Uh, and there's no jump prep. So, yeah, so... What we have to do now is we have to... It's each base star launches three raiders. And I assume that that still happens on the other game board over there. Am I getting bloop bloop twice? Uh, where's my Exodus 1? Launch raiders. When either of these icons is resolved, if there's no base stars on the main game board... Oh, that's the one that places a base star. Right. Doesn't launch raiders. But... All the base stars are currently occupied on the silent fleet board, which means we take the, the slot with the most or we, the highest number that has a base star and we take all those ships. So from the seven to eight slot, we take all those ships and drop them into the world. Whoopa. Okay, so now it's nuke time. It yep. would be nuke time. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. So I can trash this and then I get to look at the crisis cards. We do not want to lose that civilian ship we're too low in food to lose that it's food and fuel we could lose both right there off of that oh, ship this is tough i don't like crises that don't have a jump prep but other than that it's not necessarily a horribly dire thing just gonna no bottom Okay, mm -hmm. I'm done there. Uh, so it is uh, Baltar's turn. And should we call it there for this episode? Yes. Oh, yeah, we've gone way over. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, I hope everyone's following in the drama. I, I wonder what everyone thinks the Cylons are. Clearly, everyone watching my channel knows that I am not a Cylon. <laughs> but uh -oh. Same here. Else, I don't know. I'm going to be watching everyone else's channel to see what the game was like from their perspective. Anyway, tune in for tomorrow. We'll have another episode for you. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.